Hey guys, today I want to show you guys the very first website that I ever made. So this was back in 2002, 2003, back when I was 12 or 13 years old. And yes, it's still being hosted, so it's still it's still up there, and I don't know how for how much longer, right? So I wanted to make this video, kind of show you guys my reactions and my commentary uh, about this website. It's going to be kind of like a time machine of sorts. Uh, this was back when I was first learning about HTML, CSS, a little bit of JavaScript. So let's go back in time and see how it is. So this website is actually hosted by Angelfire. So I don't know how many of you guys know Angelfire, but uh, this was a very popular website for uh, for hosting your self-created website back in the day. So back in the day, I remember there was the three really big ones. There was GeoCities, like Yahoo GeoCities. I don't know um, how many of you remember, but GeoCities was very, very popular back in the day, and it got taken down many years ago. Uh, so all the websites that were hosted on GeoCities is, is pretty much gone now, unfortunately. Then there's Lycos, and Lycos, I don't know, I think Lycos might still, might still be there because Lycos was the owner of Angelfire, and Angelfire is still up. I know, this, it's kind of amazing that they're still, they're still up, and they've been hosting my website. This website, they've been hosting it for 18 years now. It's 2020, and I made this in 2002, so 18 years they've been hosting this website, which is incredible, for free. I never paid them anything, right? This is back when websites hosted you for free. You just had to have uh, an FTP account. So I just made um, uh, add a FTP client, like Qt FTP was a really popular one back then. And I think I just uh, used an FTP to upload all my files there and they've been hosting it ever since. So let's go. And of course, this is about Dragon Ball Z because I was 12, okay? I love Dragon Ball Z and anime and stuff. And there's a splash page, so that's why I'm not on the page yet. So I'm going to show you guys. We're going to go there and there's a splash page. All right. Welcome to Dragon Ball Z Fantasy. Enjoy your stay. Just click the enter button to go in. Be patient. The page might take a while to load. Hey, how come you're still here? Just click the enter button and it's like flashing. It's like a flashing GIF. So yeah, that was the splash page. And you might be wondering, why is there a splash page? Well, that's because a lot of websites had splash pages back then. Yes. Um, back when I was learning how to uh, code HTML and CSS, one of the recommendations back then was to put a splash page. So anyways, that's what that was. Um, and you might be wondering, the, this page now is the kind of menu page or index page right here. It's index1.html. You might be wondering, why does it look so bad? Um, why is the links in yellow? Why is, yeah, it just, you can't read anything. You can't see anything very well. Well, originally there was a background here. so. You can see there's a background image here. It doesn't exist anymore. So apparently this image is, is not there. But uh, everything else is still here. So that's why it looks so bad. Originally there was a, a dark background image. So it it's not supposed to look this bad originally. Um, but I'm just going to highlight it so you guys can see what it was. Um, so let's, okay, let's go here and uh, kind of dissect this page here. Okay, iframe version. So back in the day, there was a frame, there was uh, HTML frames, okay? Um, so frames, if you guys don't know, this was a really old 90s thing, but um, it basically was the HTML element that could fit a different page. Like you can split your pages up, you can have like one page in one section of the screen, another page in a different section of the screen. It can split your pages up, right? Um, obviously, it's not, it's not common practice to use frames anymore. Iframes are actually still used by some websites, but an iframe is basically an external page that's loaded inside your page, right? But it's not like uh, it's not like frames where you divide it into like some cer certain section, top or bottom, left or right. Uh, it just exists in a section of the of the page, and then there's a pop-ups version. So I made two versions. I made an iframe version which loads an external page onto my page, and then a pop-ups version which just opened a pop-up. And there's a few other. There's a few other websites that I also made aside from this one. So this one's called Dragon Ball Z Fantasy Extreme because, you know, I was 12. So I was obsessed with Dragon Ball Z and anime. Uh, I watched a lot of anime back then. Um, and then this is called Super Tong's Laro Center because my nickname in uh, elementary school was Super Tong. One of my classmates gave me that nickname. <laughs> so I named it that. Laro is a game that was really old. It's like a DOS game that's uh, kind of a clone of Worms. 
but um, very customizable. I played it with my brother a few times. I used to play with my brother a lot back then, and we used to play uh, Lero all the time. It's basically like a, a Worms clone. I remember like, yeah, we would just uh, come home from school and then we would sit at the same computer and then, you know, we have one of those big IBM Model M keyboards and me and my brother just sit in a hot seat and we play Lero together and we did that a lot. And then Tong's DBZ domain, I don't know how this is, oh god, tongsu.zerocatch.com. Is this even working? Yeah, of course, Zero Catch. Oh my god, this website's still up. Zero Catch. This was like another host I used, I guess. 100 megs, get your free website. It looks like this website never changed from the 90s. It's like it's still here, though. <laughs> uh, okay, 100 megs, wow. If you like to own your own 100 megabyte free site with a very long list of features, simply sign up at zeocache.com and there's a IP service that <laughs> I just cannot be found. It's some kind of iframe here. All right, so anyways, that was another web host that has since disappeared. But it's I'm really surprised Angel Fire is still in business. Like, people are still using Angel Fire apparently. Otherwise, how are they hosting all these sites still? Chrono Trigger Realm because I love Chrono Trigger. That was a Really great. Uh, a lot of people think it's one of the best RPGs of all time, right, for the Super Nintendo. I made my own fan site for that. I love that game. Uh, this is a counter by Right Stats. I wonder if this is still up. Uh, probably not. Right Stats. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. You gave me to tell us. Let's try this again. Okay. It just redirects me to Bing. Okay, it just redirects me to, to Bing. Okay, so obviously, right stats does not exist anymore, which is understandable because so this site is from 2002. Very few websites last 18 years um, or longer, right? They probably were in business before. Web ring, okay. So there used to be this, this uh, concept of a web ring. So this is back in the days when internet was not very big. So if you go to your web ring, you can easily go to another similar site, right? So it's kind of like website hopping. Um, and this was, you know, nowadays you don't do that because you just use Google for everything. But back then, um, this was 2002. So Google was still not like super popular. So um, you just go to your web ring to visit similar sites, right? Because back then you had uh, Alta Vista, you had Yahoo. All these websites have directories which you can find similar sites. You know, Hotbot, Dogpile, I think had that. Which, by the way, I think those th those sites are still in business still. I think Dogpile and Hot Hotbot are still there. Um, Ask Jeeves is another one. They would have these directories where you go to a similar website, right? And you don't do that these days because it's too big. The internet's way too big. But back then, the internet was small enough that you would have uh, all these sites related to web ring. Of course, it doesn't, it doesn't exist anymore. Um, and then if you're using Netscape Navigator... <laughs> Or some other browser that doesn't support iframes. Download Microsoft Internet Explorer 6. <laughs> yep. Which is one of the GOAT operating, uh, one of the GOAT browsers because um, this came with Windows XP, right? The GOAT operating system. Uh, everyone used Windows XP back then. And of course, what's bundled with Windows XP? Well, IE6, right? So that's like the most popular. God, I can't believe I had to code for IE6 back then. But, um, yep, and Netscape Navigator, which didn't support iframes. Yep. Uh, when did I stop using Netscape? I think it might have been 2000 or something. I think by 2000, I stopped using Netscape. 2002, I was using IE6. Yeah. Um, okay, so we can check out these other sites later. Let's go into the Dragon Ball Z Fantasy Extreme first. So iframe version or pop-ups version? Let's try the iframe version first. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow okay so you guys can see my reaction this is i've not seen this website in a while and uh oh my god i just can't believe it's still up like i made this in 2002 right my last update in this news thing was 2004 oh my god so it's been 16 years my last update is 2004 oh man anyways you can see all my news updates here uh, first of all there's so many things going on on this website so i think there was a marquee or something back here back here um because marquees were really popular you know in html back then and blink tags uh it still has the correct date i think this was using some kind of date generator tool for javascript or something 
and this is is this a quotes generator? I think this is a this comes from a random quote generator. Let's actually inspect that. So JavaScript 1.2 last updated 99 1999 from Dynamic Drive, which was I I used to go to Dynamic Drive to get all my dynamic HTML scripts. So we called um, HTML with JavaScript dynamic HTML back then, and um, I used to go there to Dynamic Drive to download all my scripts. So I had this script was one that changes the highlight colors of the tables. I think this changed back to original color. Okay, you gotta understand I was 12, 13 years old, okay? So my JavaScript knowledge was very basic, so that's why I, I used a lot of these scripts back then. What's this one? Create hex array. Oh my god. This JavaScript is like, now that I look back on this, right? Because now I'm a, I'm a JavaScript developer now, like, for a while. You know, now I'm doing like TypeScript, I'm doing ES6. And just looking back at this old school JavaScript, man. That's crazy. Make rainbow. <laughs> There's a function for make rainbow. I can't believe that. Um, wow. Convert to hex. Document dot write. <laughs> How long has it been since I've seen document dot write? Wow. I have not used that forever. Because um, now you just use uh, console logs to debug still, right? I think people still use console logs to debug, but it's, people used to use document.write to debug. Yeah, that was a thing back then. Um, start message, Dragon Ball Z Fantasy, set message. This edible value corresponds to the speed of the shooting message. <laughs> There's a message that shoots, right? Is it this one? Wait, what is that? And there's a timeout. Uh, star gif. So there's a blinking star gif in the background. Of course, this was what this was 2002. Okay, and then I made this. I made this banner in Photoshop. I put a gradient over it, and then I remember um, this is like, yeah, this was like text that I. Uh, it's kind of like word art start. You remember word art? It's like a word art style text. Um, that I did in Photoshop back then, and then I kind of put highlights over, I took out Gohan and Vegeta, and I put highlights over that, and I made this banner. So this banner I made myself. Welcome to my home, this is another GIF, right? Yeah, homepage.gif. Welcome to my homepage. Okay, this is such a generic thing. Um, what is this date generator? I'm kind of interested. This has been working for a while, huh? This date generator. I think that's a uh, document dot right. Pretty sure. All right, uh, and this is a randomly generated quote, I believe. This div here, I think this is a randomly generated quote from some library. Top news. This is a scrolling news bar. So, what is doing this actually? I remember this was using divs, right? I used to use tables, and then I switched to divs at some point. So this. Uh, let's see. Marquee. <laughs> it is a marquee. Okay. It is a marquee, which I have not seen in such a long time. Scroll amount equals two. Original. Okay. Movie number five expected in January 2002. <laughs> First came is Legacy of Goku for Game Boy Advance. Wow. I remember playing that game when it came out. So yeah, definitely 2002. Everything here is from 2002 or 2003, 2004. And yeah, this is a marquee. So that's it's been a while since I've seen one of those. Same thing with the document dot right. This is an animated GIF. This is a rainbow text. Um, we've seen that rainbow text JavaScript function there. So this is news and updates. Um, as I said, uh, I updated this all the way up until April 1st, 2004. This was my username. Okay, by the way, my name on news site is Gofishus, not Tongzu CA2. <laughs> I think that's when I became Gofishus, right? Gofishus, I this is still my online name for a lot of things, and I got this originally from I think it was from some dude on a DBC Legacy forum. So there was this website called DBC GT Legacy. I wonder if it's still up. It was a very old okay. 
Yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. So there used to be this forum called dbzgtlegacy.com, and it was an online forum. And I remember it was one of the popular Dragon Ball Z forums back then, and there was this guy there called Gofishus Maximus. And I just, for some reason, I just thought that name was cool, so I took his name. So after that, I became Gofishus. <laughs> So Gofishus was my online username since I took that guy's name from the DBZ GT Legacy forums. And uh, I think on Ragnarok Online, I, I shortened it to Gofish because that was my alternate character name. So most people know me as Gofish or Gofishus since then. But I used to be Tongzu CA2 because before that, it was just a random generated thing, I think. I actually made a Soul Calibur Flash game. So, wow, I can't believe that. Is it still here? It's still here. It's still being hosted by Angel Fire. They, they're they still hosting my Soul Calibur Flash game that I made back then. That's crazy. Dot Swift. So you know, you need a Flash player to view it. The Swift file, right? Um, yep, so this is all the... these This news um, came from... What is it? Was it Pojo or was it um, DBC GT Legacy? I think th some of these headlines are not mine. They're, they come from somewhere else. I just pasted it here. And, because, you know, I was 12, I was 13, you know. <laughs> I posted, I pasted some news here. But some of this news is mine as well. Let's see. Okay, this one's definitely mine. Sorry about the slow updates. After months of psychiatric treatment, I find that I'm still addicted to Soul Calibur 2. That was a good game back then. I used to play Soul Calibur 2 with my friend uh, in high school. Like, almost every day after work. Uh, uh, sorry, after school. Um, so... I think this was, yeah, 2003, so I was in ninth grade at that time. So that was my first year of high school, yeah. So after school, I would play with my friend. I would go to his place and play Soul Calibur 2 on the original Xbox. Um, and I was really bad at updating. Happy Halloween. Check your candy for any dangerous substances. Sadly, I will be handing out candy, but that's just me. I'm just saying, I've been busy taking injuries in football. Yeah, because I played football back then. Cutting myself at work. Did I cut myself at work? It might have been one time I was at uh, some... What is it? Some, it, it, this was in high school, so... I don't know. I, I was doing some kind of work, and I cut myself, I guess. Designing posters. Okay. Soul Calibur Flash game, and... Okay. Um, actually, the first news... Okay, I had another website. This one, I'm not sure if this one exists still. Let's go. Let's come back to that later. Okay, so let's. I, I'm just curious to see what my updates are here, because I've not read this in a very long time. Don't even remember what I said back then. Okay, so that's not mine. Okay, school's just started, so I'm crammed with homework in addition after work, practice of football. I just got hands. Okay, that's not mine. Um. Legacy to Dragon Ball Z, Legacy, Legacy of Goku. DBZ Budokai, that was a pretty good game at the time. It was for PS2, I think. Um, DBZ Wallpapers, did I make those? I don't think I made those. I know, I have lots of homework. It's Valentine's Day, so all you guys and gals, give your sweetheart something DBZ, okay? I know I did. Uh, let's see. What else? In other news, besides me losing friends over GTA 3... Oh, GTA 3 just came out. Was it 2002? Yeah, GTA 3. Amazing game. Was it Vice City that came out as well? I think Vice City might have come out around the same time. I remember playing Vice City with my friends back then. We pulled like all-nighters playing Vice City back then. It was such a good game for the time. Uh, happy Halloween to you all. Make it safe so I can disrupt it and steal candy. <laughs> okay. Remember, you gotta remember, I was 13 at this time. Um, oh, I have 20 of those. I have 20 of those DBZ character quote things that have randomly appeared on the top of this webpage. Hmm, interesting. I still don't exactly know how that happens. Is that a JavaScript thing? Um, <laughs> let's see. My birthday... Oh, yeah, I just turned 13 that year. Uh, I got a third website. Tell me that. It has over 200 HTML documents. I organized it a lot. 
New grade design, eh? I put the pages on pop-ups so you never even have to leave this page. A hundred document HTML documents. And then I got a second website. Still takes 20 minutes to load, but better than an hour. Let's see, I got J JavaScript, CGI, you remember CGI? PHP, DHTML, SHTML, and Java. That was, Java was Java applets back then. Java applets, remember those? Um, those were used for a lot of the chat rooms back then. ASP or XML. So now I know ASP was, well this is original ASP before ASP.NET. That's been a while since I've seen one of those uh, pages. And XML, still being used I think by some corporations. Uh, I mean JSON has mostly overtaken it, but in YAML, but still a lot of people still use XML I guess. Java applets and DHTML. I add some PHP and CGI to make my page look more vast. I add some songs in. How do you like the new design? Pretty sweet, eh? And this was my very, very first post. was February 8th, 2002. Wow. That, yeah, over 18 years ago. <laughs> Crazy. I add some more bios, some JavaScript to spruce up my page. I desperately need email. Fine, if you don't want to email me that badly, you can at least post something on my DBZ forum. I did host my own forum back then. An easy board. Wow. Yeah, of course it's not doesn't exist. But yeah, I used Easyboard <laughs> to oh, to host the forum back then. Okay, that's cool. Let's go back to the uh, the first few updates. I think I missed those. Um, yeah, I made a Soul Calibur Flash game because I was obsessed with it back then. I will not be updating the site anytime because lack of time. I do have a life outside the computer, you know. Not these days. You may have noticed that my interest in DBZ have diminished. Yeah, well, I have a spot for DBZ in my heart. I still like DBZ. Uh, I, I don't like Dragon Ball Super that much, but you know, Dragon Ball Z, why not? DBZ series over. I feel like my interest should belong somewhere else. Sorry guys, DBGT just doesn't cut it. DBZ Flash Game. I thought you might guys want like it. Is that mine? I don't take credit for it. Okay, I guess it's not mine then. It's, some, uh, it's someone else's Flash Game. And then my last update is making another website which was Japanime. This was my fourth website and this was the one I worked on for a while. This was not just about Dragon Ball Z, this was about a lot of different anime and back in the early 2000s. So I remember I worked on this website Japanime up until like 2005, 2006 and then that became Divine Requiem which is another website I made back then. So this was a website I worked on most of the my high school years. My HTML career is not over, for sure. I'm still working on it right now. <laughs> right, that's my career. That became my career. My career programmer. And my new site is on Japanese anime, including DBZ. It even has the same familiar layout. Yeah, and of course, it changed my name. Does this website still exist? This website is still here. So Japanime, oh, this is really cool. This website is still there. Um, I don't think that the actual website is still there because it was hosted by someone else. So, um... This website, like I said, was about all different Japanese anime back in the early 2000s, not, not just DBZ. And this was the website I worked on a lot back in high school. So I made this wallpaper, uh, Welcome to Japan Anime. I think I took this from, I took this from different art, um, Debian art maybe. These, these used to light up. I think they don't light up anymore. But yeah, it's not going to work because it's hosted by simplytorn.net, which was an old... <laughs> oh, I like that how this, is a, this becomes a rainbow once you highlight over that. That still works, huh? Yeah, so this was hosted by another web mistress I knew, and then I asked, I asked to see if the if my website can be hosted by her, and um, that's why I got it hosted by her. And of course, it doesn't exist anymore because it was hosted by her. If I had hosted it on Angelfire, actually, it would still be here, but um, that's why I can't actually show you this website because uh, it's not actually hosted by Angelfire anymore. So best viewed in IE, of course, because Chrome didn't exist back then. 1024 by 768. Ooh, do I ever miss that 4.3 resolution? <laughs> CSS, table. Okay, JavaScript, HTML. And then this is a web counter by... Uh, everyone used this web counter back then. Extreme tracking. Yeah, okay. I wonder if this still works. I don't think my... what. I don't think it works anymore. Extreme tracking. I'm, 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 uh, oh, it's still here. Okay, cool. 
Divine Requiem, divinerequiem.net. This was my website back then. You violated our terms and conditions three times. Account suspended. <laughs> I see. Okay. Well, I still logged in. Um, reports? Can I see them? No, I can't. You are violating our terms and you agree with signing up. Okay, well, actually, I'm still surprised that this extreme tracking thing is still here. That's, they're still up. Because this was a counter, is a web counter that was uh, very popular back then. So if I could view my stats, let's see. It's still here. Wow. Amazing. Stats counter is still here. Uh, so Japan Ame, you can see that a total of 18,325 people visited it since its inception, which was like back in 2004. So it's been 16 years. Um, pages, let's see. Of course, no, there's no other pages here because the actual website was hosted on a different domain. Interesting. But look, people, people visited this. Amazing. Wow. I mean, this is me, obviously, but wow, people from, people visited this as recently as March 2020, February, 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 December. So people have still been visiting this website, like in the past few months. I'm utterly shocked. <laughs> really? Wow. Someone from Hong Kong visited this, France, US. I'm amazed. Well, how are they finding my website? Like, I don't think I have any search engine optimization here or anything, right? I'm really surprised and shocked they, they're able to find my website after such a long time. Okay, this is just a table. Right, yeah. Stat counter code. <laughs> Look, navigator.app name not equal to Netscape. Um... Tracker code right here, a no script tag. Yeah, um, I have no idea how people are still visiting this. But apparently people have visited this website for in the last few months, right? Someone that just visited in uh, March this year, February, 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 December, October, last year. I'm really shocked people can't even find the site. That's crazy. Let's look at the came from. Let's where, where did they come from? I'm actually still, I'm also shocked that they're able to find this. Um, and that this website stats counter is still up. Blue is me portfolio older websites. Oh, people visited this from my blog. Okay. I see where they came from. Huh. So they visited, they came from my blog, okay. I didn't know that people read this, okay. Apparently people have been visiting my blog and they go to uh, web dev and then they go to older websites and then you can see the links here and they, they visit that. Interesting, okay, and I took screenshots. Oh, this is the, uh, this is actually what it looked like. Um, when it was hosted. So once you click on that and you go inside, this is actually what it looks like. This Japan Ame. Um, it's divs, right? Bunch of divs, but it looks a lot more smoother than, than this, right? This was my first website ever, right? This is kind of my fourth website. So by this time, I already had some experience. So it's, it looks a little bit better. Obviously, it's 2004, 2005. So it's very much in that style. But And I was like 15 years old. But um, and I think you, when you hovered over this, uh, I, part of the background actually shifted in, which is kind of cool. I think this might have been some kind of Java applet, but I when you hovered over this, the background like shifted in, like you're focused. Over 50 animes. I remember I had over 50 animes, uh, different pages here. There's like bios, character biographies, um, plots, episode lists, and stuff. Uh, multimedia I had wallpaper, music videos, episodes, flash, mini games, a search engine right here. A forum, um, movies, I had that here, Akira, FF7, Advent Children. The news is, is, I don't, was this a marquee? I don't think this was a marquee anymore. This was just, you hovered over one of these arrows and it just scrolled down. 
at fan fiction, fan art, affiliates, remember affiliates, right? You used to have similar websites, a tag board, radio, I don't know what that was, a guest book. Um, I think the guest, my guest book might still be up. Uh, let's take a look later. And then this was my little affiliate icon here. So back then you had a uh, web rings and you had affiliates, right? So you had one of these small icons and you just copy and paste the href code here and you put it on your website so you can affiliate with different. Uh, I had a lot of webmasters and webmistresses I affiliated with, with back then because there was a lot of people doing like uh, one of, websites like these, like what I did when they were like in high school or university or whatever. A lot of uh, young webmasters, webmistresses back then I knew. So, I mean, just look at this update. It says, I'm GoFish as the webmaster. Uh, pretty busy right now. Won't be adding. This is 2005. Two ISUs to do. What's an ISU? Uh, two books to read. Take notes on comparative essay, cause effect essay, political mind map. 20 minute seminar. I'm on site several times. Okay, I've moved to a new domain. Oh, that's when I moved to the self, to the hosted by my, my friend at the time. Move the radio and tag board to the side. Halloween is here, candy time. I'm too old to go out. I was 15, right? I got infected by Julia, so now I got infected. I think, I, no, I was 16 at the time. Who's Julia? I don't remember her. For five random facts. I lived in Canada for 13 years now. I tend to forget things. Someone. <laughs> I forgot how to write, speak almost all my Mandarin. Well, I learned that a little bit later. I can wiggle my ears without manual to move them. I can still do that. I'm seldom sick. I usually get perfect attendance records. I think I still do. I, I rel I'm rarely sick off of work. I don't really take many sick days. And then I've infected Robin, Eve, Akemi, Areri, Renoa. Some of those names ring a bell, but not really. I don't remember who those people are. This site's not trying to infringe on any copyrights. It's merely a resource site. Okay. Wow. Takes me back. Um, but yeah, all this is, is stored on my... This is all stored on my blog anyways. Yeah, this is the visitor map for my website. Looks like a lot of people came from different places. I'm pretty surprised. Cool. Um, that's really surprising considering that there's nothing else you can do on this website. You can't go anywhere because they don't work. Anyways, that's the Japanime website. Pretty cool. Uh, let's go back here. So, yeah, since it's Angel Fire, I think some of this may be work. Let's look at the web tracker here. Oh, yeah, this probably doesn't work, right? This uh, tracker version is out of date. Please update to version 3.0 now. Okay. Counting since 8th of April 2002. But I can't look at this because it's out of date. Okay. Um... Angelfire.com is not authorized. Go to... Whoa. Official DVC. I think I made this, right? This select menu. In the search term, how well does it work? What if I search for, like, Krillin? And as a fuzzy search, too. Okay. Does that actually work? This search engine. I am I would be surprised. Nope. Because it relies on a CGI script. CGI bin, script library, site search. Okay. That's probably why it's not working. It's, it's relying on CGI search here. <laughs> CGI bin. All right. Um, Angel Fire official DBZ website. Hotbot, Yahoo, AOL, Alta Vista, Lycus, Easyboard, Z ZDNet, WebMonkey, CNET, Hotmail, HTML gear. Okay, wow. Uh, view my that guest book. Let's look at my guest book. Oh, no. It just redirects to Lycos. Tripod. Oh no, I remember tripod. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this was hosted by HTML gear and Lycus. Yeah, so it doesn't work anymore. It, it just loads in this iframe. That's why it's, this is the iframe version, because everything just loads in this middle iframe right here. Yep, so this center element here is an iframe. Um, let's see, where is... Yeah, here we go. This is the iframe here. Yep. Everything else is a table. So home, oh, oh, okay. That doesn't work. Index2a.html is my main. News works. Contact. Contact works. Okay. Oh my god. I made this back then, right? What? What the heck? 
Okay, so I have a highlight over this. This is tall rules. I mean, obviously, you knew... When you see this, you know I was really young when I did this, okay? Tall rules when you hover over it. And then an animated GIF. This was one of my favorite GIFs back then, and I used it for my forum avatars a lot. The Gohan Super Saiyan 2 power-up. I think I used that for my avatars on a lot of forums. Okay, Gofacious Maximus Tongzu, and I have uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, Nightmare from Soul Calibur, and Yuna from Final Fantasy uh, X2 here. Expect the unexpected. That was my little Logan that I put on MSN Messenger back then. It's like, you know, remember how MSN Messenger had like this, your, your, your name, right? And then you put your status right there. So I always put expect the unexpected as my status. And then, what is it? The power is the ability to control the fate of others. Okay. Whoa. Crazy. Name, Super Tong. Occupation, saving the world from evil. Oh my god, that's just going to be crazy reading this. Race, location, planet unknown. Race, super legendary Z warrior. Email. This was my really old email. This was the, this was the first email I ever had. Tong underscore zoo at hotmail dot com. MSN Messenger. This was my secondary email. This was the email I had for most. I would say until two thousand eight, I used this email until I made my uh, main one, which is ctongzu at gmail dot com. Until I got a Gmail, this was the main one I used. Gofishus at hotmail dot com. Up until 2008, I think. My ICQ number... Uh, did I use ICQ that much back then? I think I mostly used MSN Messenger back then. And this is another thing. Like, back then, um, it was so open. Like, all the different webmistresses and webmasters, they would just put their MSN Messenger or AIM uh, contact or ICQ, they would just put that on their website, right? Because these days, we're so focused about privacy, we can't imagine putting all this really intimate contact information. It's like putting your uh, WhatsApp or your phone number on your website, right? So you can't imagine that th these days, but back then, it was like you put all this stuff just on your website here, and they were like, these people, these kids, you know, 15, 16, 17 years old, they just put all their contact information, just like me, put all my contact information out there on the public, because <laughs> no one cared back then, okay? No one cared. Everyone just put everything on the website, on their websites back then. Quote, I am the guardian of the epoch. I don't think I ever said that. Uh, websites are created. Yep. My oath. Oh my god. I had an oath. There comes a time when destiny calls forth a being. <laughs> Damn it, that's a sacrifice. No, it's not time. I am that being. This is my doctrine. Why did I write this? Every day I am tormented eternally. Every night lamented infinitely. I am without doubt. Without a soul. Without a true purpose. I am the sever of souls. A light that darkness cannot prevail. For without virtue, there cannot be love, and without love, there cannot be hate. Only the quintessential illusions of hope and despair will confine me to my prison. A meaningless person without a careless soul. This is I, and I cannot be vanquished. For the soul of Gompicious Maximus will live throughout my life. In my actions, my gift, my curse, living in spite of it, and long for the day that I'll be free. My name is Tong Zhu, and this is my vow. Why did I write that? What's the point of that? I don't understand. I think I was really, uh... I must have been really, uh... I don't know depressed or whatever back then i don't know what happened <laughs> what kind of mindset was i in when i wrote that that's crazy um let's look at site fact i'm glad these pages all still work that's pretty amazing they all they all still work they all still load in the iframe okay um where's the chalice sound you can download it in the song gallery or you can listen to it in the guide section i wonder if we can do that Whenever I get time to update them. Um, is it true that you steal stuff <laughs> from other stuff from other sites because you're too lazy? Hey, quiet you! <laughs> wow, I'm so uh, self-acknowledged. Um, I don't like the pop-ups. Can you get rid of them? I'm hurt. I thought you liked my pop-ups. I can't change it, but you can find one with frames in it at my other website. Oh, the zero catch one, which is another version of the site. Okay. Who actually read that? I don't know. Chat room. This application requires... I had a live chat room because uh, this was... This was back when most websites back then, I would say mo a lot of websites back then had chat rooms. Like, there were Java applet chat rooms. Yahoo Chat had it. iSketch had it back then. Like, crazy. Um, yeah, there was... Uh, <laughs> apparently, I also had a chat room on my website. The server is available via IRC. I don't think this works. <laughs> this application requires Java support. 
The server is also available via RSC client. People are still using MRC, I believe. Merck. But I don't think this is going to work. Um, okay, and I think, I'm pretty sure I stole this from somewhere. This chat room. Okay, uh, message board. Of course, it's an easy board. Not going to work. I think I used PHP BB later on. It was, I used easy board here, but I think I used PHP BB um, in my later sites. Links. Oh, look at my links. This is my affiliates. Right? These are my affiliates. I'd be so surprised if any of these still work. This is from... Oh, look. There's a GeoCities one. So these are all my affiliates back then. So I had uh, Gohan's Fury, DBZ Dominion, Anime Gods, Black Goku. Now we have Goku Black. <laughs> um, DB Revenge. I don't think any of these would work. Fighter Boys, GeoCities. I mean, the only reason why... This website still works. It's because for whatever reason, Angel Fire is still up. But um, this, yeah, I don't think any of these would work because this is from way back then. Yeah. Oh wow, this one actually just redirects to somewhere. Yeah, I don't think any of these are gonna work. This is from way long time ago. So whoever those guys are. Oh look, biography. Oh my God. Okay, so. Another thing is, I played, back in the early 2000s, um, a lot of people put music players on their sites to play MIDI files, and I did that too, so that's why I downloaded stuff when I went to this page, because basically back then, when you went to a page, it would just autoplay some music. Like, there would be a, like a little Windows media player thing, and then it would play like a MIDI file, because it was embedded onto the page, so it was like an embed, right? Um... So that's why I download stuff. But all these still works. Wow. All these pages... Oh, shit. It's going to download this every time. Okay. I don't know how much I want to tolerate that downloading. Okay. All these pages are still there. Um, yeah, this is all the dif different DBZ guys. Other good guys. Other bios. Okay, I can't tolerate this downloading every time. But um, all these all these pages are still there. Encyclopedia. Whoa, okay. And do these, these links all still work? Wow, okay. I mean, of course, it's just an anchor link. Um, guides. Oh, another MIDI file. Okay, episode guide. Let's open this new tab. Okay, cool. This All this still works. They are just HTML files, right? Standard HTML. There's a battle guide here. Oh, okay. Did I write all this? I don't know if I wrote I wrote all this or not. I had a lot of content back here back then. Character guide, this is a complete character guide. Which is kind of redundant when you think about it. I already had one, right? Character guide P R V to Z. Whoa, okay. Um movie special guide, so you can look at all the different movies. Um, now, I mean, this goes all the way up to 13, and now there's the Dragon Ball Super movies, but this was actually pretty updated. It had all 13, all the original 13 movies in the synopsis. Game Guide. This was, like, I think all the way up to Legacy of Goku, which was, like, yeah, 2002. Now there's tons of DBZ games, right? Like, the latest was Dragon Ball Fighter Z, or no, the latest was Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, right? Dragon Ball Kakarot. Um, but yeah, back then, all the Dragon Ball Z games actually just fit onto one page. There wasn't that many back then. Like, Super Botoden, oh my god, another mid just downloaded. Super Botoden was one, Hyper Dimension, which was one of my favorite games back then. I think Hyper Dimension was, like, my favorite, um, fighting game back then. And this is just copped, this is just, uh, copped from GameFAQs, I think. Because this hyperdimension fact, I literally just copied it from GameFAQs and I hosted it on my website. <laughs> yeah, as an HTML file. So, yeah. But hyperdimension is still a pretty cool game. Uh, Super Nintendo. Never released in the US. But you can get it translated. Uh, Tenkaichi Budokai. This is a history of the Tenkaichi Budokai uh, matches in Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. In Dragon Ball GT, I think. Because this is... Okay, this is about Pan. So yeah, Oob. So this is definitely Dragon Ball GT. 
So I have some Dragon Ball GT stuff in here as well. So this is about the Tenkaichi Budokai tournament. It even has the different rules and stuff. All right, uh, technique guide. So this is the different uh, the different attacks that people had. The Kamehameha. You had the Death Ball, which was Frieza's move, I think. Yep, time freeze. That's definitely an underused attack, I think. Mafuba. Can't believe they actually did use the Mafuba in uh, Super. I think they brought it back. Yeah, for Trunks, I think. Masenko. Uh, special Open Cannon. I had the Japanese one and, and the English translation, Kaioken. Um, Spirit Bomb. Yep. Okay, cool. Let's see all the attack guide. Manga guide. What is here? Oh, nothing. What the heck? What's wrong with this page? There's just nothing here. <laughs> okay. Apparently I never populated that. Universe guide. Oh, all these images are gone now. But the uh, the pages actually work, just the images don't load. That's cool. I had like a little kind of a uh, site map here. Yep, it's like a little site map. Oh man. South Galaxy, New Vegeta, West Galaxy, yeah. Quick Guide. What's this one? Another <laughs> mid gets downloaded. Oh my god, this background. Um, this is just another. Okay, it, still, it tells you how they died and their power level, so I can see why. This is the power level and their family and how they died. Okay, I guess it can be pretty useful for some people. It is a quick guide, yeah. Just a summary. Alright, so that's my guys. Look at the power levels now. Oh my god, Dallin's another mid. Um... So I'm just going to open this separately. Oh, okay, it's just a list of power levels. I don't know how they really calculate this. I think it's really hard to calculate the power levels after the... Okay, Boo Saga head. Oh my god, is this white text? <laughs> white text on a white background, or is just this background never loaded? Okay, just because the background was an image. Okay, that's why. Um, I don't know how they calculate these power levels. It's not really accurate after Frieza Saga. Uh, family tree. Okay, let's look at... What are these mids anyways? I, I'm actually curious to listen to some of them. Oh no, that's gone. Oh, because they're JPEG files, okay. These are JPEG files, and then of course those are not hosted anymore. Final battle. Battle of Piccolo, okay. What is this? Battle of Raditz. Okay, so is this like a... A play-by-play -play on the battles here? <laughs> Majin Buu, Cell... I don't know. Act 6, okay. Interesting. Anyways, this final battles, miscellaneous, another battles. See, oh my god, this background. Hey, how come these pictures load? The other pictures didn't load, the background pictures, but these pictures loaded. This is a really, uh... Why did I pick choose this background picture? That's weird. Okay, fusion merges. Okay, that tells you a lot about these things. Hyperbolic. Time Chamber. There's actually some pretty in-depth stuff up here about Dragon Ball Z. Even, I mean, this website's old, but there's still a lot of information here. Um, it's kind of actually impressive I did this when I was just 12. Like, there's a lot of information here. Nothing here. Um, yeah, I mean, this... This website I made when I was like 12, 13 years old. There's a lot of information here. It's pretty actually, kind of pretty impressive actually. Dragon Ball Training, Power Ups. It's basically like an encyclopedia for Dragon Ball Z fans. Oh no, look at this. Remember using Photo Bucket? Photo Bucket and Image Shack to host my images back then. That's what I mostly use, Photo Bucket and Image Shack. Summaries, DB summary, okay. God, there is a lot of information here still. It's not formatted very well, but it's, it is a lot of, like, who's going to read this? This wall of text. This is so bad, this wall of text. I don't know who's going to read that. But, uh, but there is information here. It's just, I don't know who's going to read this wall of text here. It's not properly formatted. 
Oh no. Okay. Oh. <sighs> the 404 error. Timeline. Okay, cool. This is actually a table, looks like. Preface, saga. Oh, these links don't do anything. They're supposed to be anchor links. But uh, it's interesting, there's this timeline here. Is, is here. That's cool. Picture gallery, of course, that's not going to work. Uh, clips under construction. GIF gallery. I don't think this is going to work either. Yep. It's not going to work um, because they're hosted by. Where is this, anyways? Yeah, it's hosted somewhere else, looks like. They are HTML files. Maybe just hosted somewhere else. Oh, music videos. Wait, did I actually host? Oh, this is hosted by switcher.ccsmaps. What's that? Okay, well, there's, there was anime music videos because that, that was a thing in the early 2000s, right? Anime music videos or AMVs. So there's a whole bunch of AMVs that you could download here back then. Um, of course, most of them are going to be Linkin Park, right? No, this is one's Godsmack. Linkin Park. 30 megs. Oh, remember when videos were like 16 megs? <laughs> WMVs. Oh, boy. Um... Corn, Sum 41, Linkin Park. Oh god. Okay. They're all hosted by switcher.ccs maps. I don't know what that is. Okay, well, um, I can't believe I hosted AM AMVs on this website too. That's cool. Don't remember doing that, but I guess. Well, I never actually hosted them. Someone else did, but I, I uh, put them here as links. Screenshots. Nothing here, right? Oh, this is from Hyperdimension. Okay. Well, they're not going to load. Downloads. So I hosted downloads. You can download Lero, which is actually just another website. Arcade. Oh, this is D20. Wait, wait. Arcade. Dodge Tune. What is this one? Oh. Did I actually host some games? I can't believe I actually hosted games. Pretty amazing. You can still download them? No, you can't. <laughs> I was like, did I still have the zip files back then? This there's no way they're still hosted by Angel Fire. Sea Dogs, yeah, they're not going to exist. But I had uh, Arcane, Cyber Dogs, Sea Dogs, which is a sequel to Cyber Dogs, which is a good game. I played that with my brother a lot. Dungeon, don't remember playing that. Matter Blaster 2, I remember playing that sometimes. Mind, Bom Mind Bombers, Moles, Gladiators. I like Gladiator. Ultimate TK, I played that one with my brother back then. Um, can't believe I hosted games on this website at one time. Oh my god, I only had Duke Nukem 3D. No, no, that was hosted by someone else. Okay, these are just links to someone else. I was like... Wait, I'm hosting Craig Tier here. Wait. DBZ, One Must Fall. DBZ RPG. Okay, some of these are hosted by me. But most of them are hosted by this youth.newham.org.uk thing. I was like, am I hosting like... Oh no, this is shareware games, right? I can't believe I was hosting like DOS games. <laughs> That's crazy. Duke Nukem 3D, Quake 2, One Must Fall 2097. This is a really good game. Um, wish it was re-released on GOG. Shadow War is great. Half-Life, Dicontina is not very good. I don't know why I hosted that. Or uh, I linked it. Uh, Turok and Doom, of course. You can get all of these games right now except for One Must Fall 2097. That, for some reason, Steam and uh, GOG still haven't had that game yet. But the rest, yeah. This is not going to exist, right? Nope. Yeah. I can't believe I hosted games on my website. Other games? What's other games? Nothing, apparently. Alright, and Leo just goes to the other website. You must have WinZip. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Did I host software, too? <laughs> Wasn't this supposed to be a DBZ site? Okay, you got to remember, guys. This was when I was... I was young, okay? I didn't realize the legality of doing these things. I was basically like CNET. <laughs> Actually, this just links to CNET, doesn't it? It just links to CNET, okay. And I think some of them link to two cows. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so these are all just links to CNET and two cows. Oh, man. Adobe Acrobat Reader. When is it? Microsoft Internet Explorer 6. 
I'm pretty sure that came bundled with Windows XP. Netscape Communicator 4.79. Wow. I actually linked that. Winamp 2.78. This is when we go back in time and look at all the software people used back then, okay? ActiveX Web Player. Oh my god. Remember ActiveX? That was the thing. DirectX 8.1. Macwave. Oh, Macromedia Shockwave. Flash Player 8.5. Okay. That was the thing. I remember going to Newgrounds and uh, using that a lot. Windows Media Player, which should come bundled with your PC. Real Player 8. Remember Real Player? That was popular. That was like Winamp. The Winamp, but for video, right? Um, QuickTime, that's still used by uh, Apple. Shock Machine. I can play Shockwave games offline. Wow. What is Shockwave anyways? I don't even remember like, the difference between Shockwave and Flash. There was some difference. I don't remember anymore. Shockwave was like different than Flash. I don't know why. Godzilla, this is a download manager. Yeah, you had to use a download manager back then. AMI GIF Construction Set Pro, make animated GIFs. Ooh, this is way before Jiffy. You need to have a separate program to make that. QFTP, yep, that's the FTP I used back then. It was an oldie but goodie. Arachnophilia, oh my god. Yep, so there was an HTML editor called Arachnophilia back then, I guess I used. Um, this was, when did I use this? I, I remember using, this might have been the first one I used, and I used Microsoft Front Page after that. Uh, so it was like Rachnophilia, Microsoft Front Page, and then uh, Macromedia Dreamweaver back then. Yeah, so that was the HTML editor I used. It was, yeah, like Front Page, Dreamweaver, crazy. And now I'm using, um, then I used WebStorm when I was actually working, and then I used VS Code. I used... Um, those are my IDs now, but yeah, these were WYSIWYG editors, I believe. So yeah, front page and Dreamweaver were like WYSIWYG editors. Morpheus, remember Morpheus? That was like Kazaa or uh, LimeWire. <laughs> um, this is what we used back then to download files, right? I mean, nowadays you don't think about downloading files anymore because everyone just streams stuff, but, uh, and even if you did, you would be using like torrents maybe, but Back then, it was, yeah, Kazaa, Morpheus, LimeWire, like, it all came from Napster type of uh, file sharing services. Uh, DC++ is another one I used. Yeah, because back then, like, peer-to-peer -peer file sharing was a huge thing back in the mid in the mid-2000s and early 2000s, right? So, that was a thing. But you had, like, a huge chance of getting viruses <laughs> when you use those. Um, WinAce, I don't even remember what are .ace files. I don't even remember dot ace. Like I just remember dot zip dot rare seven z. I don't remember dot ace files. Norton antivirus. That's terrible. Don't download it. Norton antivirus. It's uh, awful. Don't. I don't use antivirus on my computer. It just slows down the computer. You don't need it if you know what you're doing. Chunks theme song gets downloaded. Oh, all these songs you can download here. Can I download Chala head Chala? I can. Wow. So all these links for mid files apparently work. So the the links for the pictures and zip files don't work, but for the mid files, apparently it does work. So all these do get downloaded. Hmm. Interesting, that's still hosted. Online games. Oh, okay. You can download my Whack a Bruce game. I don't think that's hosted anymore. It's an exe file. I don't even remember what that was. Play Pong. Is that still here? No, it's not. I think this was some kind of Java applet or something. Wow, it's still... What is this? Is this a Java thing, or...? Oh, okay. Something else looks like... It looks like JavaScript, okay. So it's, it's Pong using JavaScript. Hmm. Nice. Um, play chess with Jester. This is a really old chess chess game. This is a really old chess site, I think. Jester Chess. You can play Bomberman, Second Nature World. This is definitely not not there anymore, right? Yeah. A VMR a VR ML 3D world you can explore and direct. You need blacks and contact to play it. I think this was a kind of a second life kind of thing, but some guy made it on his website. It's it's a very primitive, like second life kind of thing. I remember like yeah, you're just basically like walking around some environment, some small environment or something. Second nature world, yeah, wow. 
that was yeah that's definitely takes me back uh dbz personality test dbz fighter game these are mostly just third party links beat up dbz story maker i wonder what that was like what's dbz dominion is that none of these websites exist anymore of course dbz quest a gay test why would why would i link a date why is that an online game i don't okay i was 12 <laughs> that's my excuse why would a gay test be an online game okay and why would it be linked here uh, bonus.com i play 3d shockwave.com i wonder what this would link to right now no nope, it's something else for sure what is bonus.com i'm sure this must still exist bonus okay it's definitely something different entirely different now cyber jour nope that's not there looks french though kids domain these website names are so 90s <laughs> clever media arcade pod game spy remember that oh arcade pod's still here cool well that's still here at least arcade pod that's that must be up for a while i had roms and emulators oh my god okay there's definitely some legal issues with this website already but I put a disclaimer, okay? I put a disclaimer. So I guess I'm okay because I put a disclaimer here. So enter. And I hosted ROMs, yes. I don't think these are going to work. These are just links. DBZ RPG. Yeah. We have Super Botoden, 1, 2, 3, Legacy Goku, Collectible Card Game. Was there a Collectible Card Game game? Huh. Hyper Dimension ROM, Best NES ROM. Yes. The only DBZ ROM for Genesis. I don't even... I didn't even put the title. Just the best DBZ ROM for... And DBZ RPG. I don't even know what this title is. Emulators. I hosted ZSNES. Classic. SNES 9X. Genesis. Remember this old emulator for Genesis. KGen. Smigabyte. Oh, Game Boy. No Gim. Visual Boy Advance. Oh, Visual Boy Advance was so classic. I think I must have spent hours and hours playing... GBA games on that. Amazing. But now there's much better uh, better emulators. Let's Genesis ROMs. I have Gunstar Heroes, which is classic. Crew Dudes, Jurassic Park 2. Again, I didn't... Oh, these links are all, all the same. I don't think these links are all different. So, uh, I put all this download GIFs, which uh, links to the different... These are supposed to link to the proper ROMs, but... I think these download links are pretty much all the same. They're all linked to the same ROMs, which is the DBZ ones, yeah. I don't think that ever changed. So these were never working. Two Crew Dudes, Jurassic Park 2, Battletoads, Shovel Dragon, Fantasy Star 4, wow. I don't know. Hosted a lot of ROMs, I guess. We linked a lot of ROMs back then. Final Fight 3, Return of Double Dragon, Chrono Trigger, Bomberman 4, Mad Blaster, Super Mario RPG. Oh, these link to something different. Moles, Matter Blaster, Gladiator. Gladiators Ultimate TK, Gunna Wing Endless Duel. This, that links to a GeoCities link. And Pokemon ROMs. I don't think anything here is on here. Oh. Game Boy Advance ROMs. Oh, that just links to Pocket ROMs. Okay. Yu Gi Oh! ROMs. Oh, that goes to Yu Gi Oh! Extreme. Okay. N64 ROMs, which. I don't have any N64 ROMs. Use some links and nothing appears. You must have WinZip. Okay, let's look at fanfiction. No, I actually have fanfiction here that was written by other people. So that's pretty interesting. All this is still here. All this fanfiction stuff was is still being hosted here. It's just pretty amazing. Where did I get these from? I don't even remember. I must have taken these fanfics from somewhere. The DBZ cast of the cast of DBZ and Jerry Springer. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, what? Nothing's on here. Um, there's some uh, quality content on here, guys. Some quality content. Yep. Anyways, there's uh, there's fanfics on here still being hosted. Oh, well, most of them, anyways. Most of them still be hosted. Let's see in depth fix. Actually, what's this new beginning? Oh, that's a pretty short one. Vegeta's dream. 
Yeah, let's go to in depth picks. Whoa. These are all here, and these are really long fanfics. Whoa, look how long this one is. There's 18 chapters in an epilogue. Wow. Yeah, these are definitely big fanfics. Crazy, it's still all being hosted. Senta's Journey. Who's Senta? Who's a bit hides? Radis's Return. These are all really, really long fanfics, and they're all still there. It's pretty amazing. Last Saiyan Queen. Whoa, this one has 25 chapters. That's nuts. Okay. Well, anyways, the fanfics are all still here intact, mostly. This one has a bunch of chapters, too. Wow. I don't think I even read many of these. Dragon Ball XL. Dragon Ball NR. <laughs> The Glacial Saga, episode 20, episode 23, oh my god, why, why me? <laughs> Alright, anyways, I have a lot of fanfics, I guess. Fan art, uh, if you have any good art, submit it to me. And of course, this email is to Tong underscore zoo. What if, guy is submitting what ifs, do people actually submit what ifs to me? Interesting. Anyways, this is all here. This must have been taken from somewhere else, though. I don't remember getting submissions from people. It's pretty cool. You have, uh, this is a lot of content for Dragon Ball Z. Wow. Oops. Um, that's part one. Yeah. Staff submitted. Interesting. What ifs? Okay, cool. Voting pool. pool. There's polls here now? I think they were hosted by something, right? DB poll. And these are just all empty pages. Probably because they're linking to something that doesn't exist anymore. Let's take a look. Um, some... Okay, HTML gear, Lycos. That's why. Yeah. Well, HTML gear is not there anymore, so that... Explains why it's blank. Yep. Okay, trivia quiz. Yeah, I wonder how this works. Is this just a farm? Okay, is Goku the only Saiyan to have gone through all the Super Saiyan stages? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, it doesn't work. I wonder where it goes. Just curious. Form action is URL, which is... What? Oh, Arachnophilia. Gen Meta name equals generator. Arachnophilia 4.0. Oh my god. Okay. Um, yeah, I wonder where this actually submits to. Leader link exchange. Definitely somewhere that doesn't exist anymore. That's for sure. Humor. Okay. You take Dremel Z too seriously when. And these still exist. Nice. You know your redneck say engine if <laughs> top ten ways. Interesting. Things DBC characters would never say. <laughs> this is this is pretty cool, it's still there. Why do you like cell obsessed? Funny pictures. I don't think this exists anymore, it just goes to Yahoo. Name puns. Yep, this is all because when Akira Toriyama wrote Dragon Ball Z, of course, it's all puns, anyways. Um, I mean, that's how he named all these people. Right? Saiyans are supposed to be all vegetables, that's the pun. Funny quotes. And that's there, not there anymore. Funny stuff. Accelerator, okay. The Saiyan Within. Huh. Interesting. What is this? Funny Flash episodes. Oh man, what is this? Flash now? They all go to a GeoCities link, which is obviously not going to be there. This one goes to New Newgrounds. Now, Newgrounds might still be there, right? Yep, Newgrounds is still there. So, yep, Newgrounds is still alive. I'm happy for that because a lot of my childhood was on Newgrounds. <laughs> Stick Matrix. Shao Shao, I remember Shao Shao. This is like this, this stick matrix uh, thing. 
Back in the early 2000s and mid 2000s, uh, stick figure flash animation was a thing. There used to be uh, stickfigurevideos.com or something like that. Stupidvideos.com or stickfiguredeathvideos.com or something like that. Stick figure animations were a thing. Oh, he, here it is. Yeah, this was. Oh God, was that a was that a porn site? Um, sfdt.com was stick figure death theater, I think, or something like that. Yeah, stick figure death theater. That was the website that had all these stick figure flash. Do you like my web page? Email me. You can search my website. I have a search. I have a search bar here. Why would I put this in a separate? This is basically just this widget, right? <laughs> okay, translations. This could have been just in a separate page, but I guess it's a separate thing here. Um, battlefield. If you have any good battles. Oh, these are just like what ifs. For Vegeta battles, go here. Who do you think will waste the, win these battles? It goes to your forum. Vegeta battles, okay. And this is actually a pretty hefty page here. Vegeta versus his drinking problem. Vegeta versus Ricky Lake. Vegeta versus Animaniacs. Mr. Satan, Ranma, Mr. T, Beethoven, Johnny Bravo. Wow, Voltron, Sailor Moon, Spider Man, Mega Man X, Jabba the Hutt, Furby, Mario. Okay, interesting. This is actually a page that's kind of like buried beneath my other pages. There used to be a poll here, it doesn't exist anymore. I wonder what this linked to at one point. Uh, let's see, Java Lycos. Of course, it's the HTML gear Lycos thing, that's why. Okay. Become an affiliate. That just mails my affiliates. That goes to this. My favorite links. Oh, yeah, which doesn't exist. Okay. Anyways, that's, uh, wow. That's crazy. Okay, that was my old website for Dragon Ball Z Fantasy. Um, let's go to my other websites. So what's DBZ domain? Oh yeah, this one's not going to exist anymore. What's Laro Center? So, I guess you don't have a frame compatible browser. <laughs> uh, I get, you can still go to it here, okay. Oh god, Did it just open a pop-up and then a mid-downloaded. Okay, so this is my Laro site focused on the game Laro because I loved it so much. I played it with my brother all the time back then. Okay, undefined. Something's undefined. Oh my god, what is this pop-up? Something's like popping up all the time. Let's look at this. What was this originally? Oh my god, this is all this scripts. Google Analytics, of course that's still there. Um, <clears throat> Lycos was here. That's some Lycos Angel Fire tracking scripts there. Uh, Google Tag... Bunch of Google tags, Lycos. Huh. Was this added by Angel Fire and Lycos? I think definitely yes, because this has Chrome code in it. And Chrome was not around back in 2002, 2003, so. Definitely had to be Lycos Angel Fire adding that. I wonder what's that undefined up there? There's an undefined here. I wonder what that is. It's a document dot write Lycos add slider undefined. Hmm. Um, okay, so this definitely, I did not maintain this site at all. I desperately need staff members, so if you know HTML, ASP, CGI, PHP, you want to manage a specific section of my site, I'll give you full credit and put up a unique page on you in the contact section. It's kind of like asking people to work for free, and then just giving them like a little dog bone. And then this also has undefined. I wonder what this is. Uh... It's probably some JavaScript variable that got, I don't know, not there anymore. Of course, guestbook doesn't work. Oh, you know what? This used to be a framed. Oh, yeah, that's why. So there used to be a, a frame here that, you know, frames don't, are not supported anymore. But there used to be a frame here that would display all the, the menu, right? So that's why you don't see a menu here anymore. There used to be a menu over here, but it was a, a frame. So that's why you don't see that. That's probably what this undefined is, right? And there's a stack counter here. There's 438 people visited since 2002. Oh yeah, can't see the left frame. Click here. I'm glad I put myself. I gave myself some uh, 
or your visitors. I gave visitors an extra option here if they didn't have frame support, which browsers don't have anymore. Welcome, open 24 hours, gotta have these GIFs. Okay, let's click here. Okay, this is where the menu bar was supposed to be, okay. So, oh my god, these pop-ups. Headquarters, what's headquarters? That, that's just the news. The game. Yep, that's talking about Lero the game. I don't, oh my god. This website. Um, downloads, this is where I can download the game, I guess. Lero version 1.33, here's what you're here for. Name the greatest freeware strategy computer game. Oh my god, every time I click on this page, there's a pop-up. I'm just going to try not to click on this page. Name the greatest freeware strategy computer game by 4 out of 5 Worms players. Why don't you join the thousands of Lero players get yourself a copy of the latest version 1.33? Who has in DOS format? So can I actually download this? I don't think I can. Nope. Zip files are not hosted anymore. So I hosted, um, at one time I hosted Lero, Lero Kit, which is where you can edit. So what's cool about Lero is that you can edit all the weapons and and stuff, right? So the weapons, you can replace all the weapons, objects, the the uh, the characters, I guess what they look like, the maps, and lets you create your own sounds and uh, weapons and stuff. Doesn't make you let let you make layer levels like a wormhole, okay? So wormhole is the one that lets you make the layer levels, right? So there's a really nice level creator in Lero, which is one of the reasons why it was so popular. It's so customizable. So S and D tools. Lero Hacker, Wormhole, this was the one that was a Lero Editor. Lero Blood Increaser, yeah, I remember using that, 32,750%. More blood. <laughs> Some people actually like stuff this sick. Lero Graphics Editor, Lero Mate B3, Lero Stuff Activator, Editor Version, Love Tools, Preview Maker, Shared, Winzip, okay. I hope this wasn't just, okay, this is an EXE. <laughs> it would be funny if this wins it wasn't a zip. Um, yeah, I used to use all of these tools back then to play with my brother because like, there was so many different variations of the game you can make. Like There was games where you could you could be Dragon Ball Z characters and then you know the weapons are like Kamehameha's or something like that. It's, it's pretty cool. Good game. I kind of miss playing it. Uh, campaign archive. This is unbelievably well made TC. So these are all total conversions. Looks like different. They're just third party links. But GeoCities. Did I host this one? Okay, I hosted some of these Tank Wars. Lara Supreme. By me. Did I actually make these? It says by me. So do I? Maybe I did make these. I remember replacing some of these, some of the weapons and stuff. Lara Extreme. Lair Supreme Tank Boys, but some of these were so unstable, like they would crash the game. Because I, sometimes I put in weapons that were like way too powerful, and they just like crash the game. I remember this happened several times. We were like playing with my brother, and then I, I would like switch to a weapon, and it would be like so powerful, it would just cause the game to crash. And then that's why I tell my brother at the time. I was, th I was telling my brother like, yeah, uh, these weapons are so powerful, uh, they actually crash the game. So <laughs> that's how powerful they are. Yeah. Quake Lero, Aliens Lero, Black Winds, Chicken Lero, Counter Strike Lero, Contra, DBZ Lero, nice. Fire Ghostbusters, Pro Mode. Hmm. Lero Realistic, Lero Vengeance, Lero Unreal Tournament, that's a cool one. Discretion Dinos, Magnars, Lero Mod, Max Payne, Ninja Lero. Hmm. Okay, I remember trying out some of these. Sound Bank. I think you can actually just download these, right? Oh no, they go to Q sites online. A group of MIDI files. I would think that I would host some of these, right? But these are uh, sound banks because you can actually change the sounds in Laro. So when you get hit, you can say like, oh, I'm hit or something like that. So you can change the sounds too, which is really cool. So it's definitely one of the most customizable games back in the day palette archive you can also change the palettes so like I said you can change your worm to be whatever um, and you can change the this is the background I guess you can change grayscale neon light red snow Google so these are like different mods that I was hosting back then Pal battlefield archive these are different levels you can try my level pack yeah, of course not hosted but I, I included a level pack of over 400 levels single levels level packs, power levels. 
So these are power levels that I hosted uh, or that I linked to. I think power levels are like levels made with a different editor or something. Single levels, again, hosted by... Again, remember, I actually took this... I had must have had a lot of time back then because I made this all when I was like 13 years old. I must have taken a lot of time to make these... All these links and stuff, all these tables. Again, very basic HTML, but still, like, I had a lot of time to do this back then. It must have been pretty tedious. I mean, look at how many links I had to do back then. Wow. I had to link a lot of stuff back then. Uh, level packs. Yep, I must have a lot of time to link all those things back then. GFX archive. Graphics mods, you need Lero kit. Okay, so I included a mod pack, which includes over 50 mods. And then I had another page for the single mods and mod packs. Classics mod packs. Wow. Uh -huh, there's so many links. Wow. Different mod packs. You can, again, modify your worm to be anything. So you can Mafia, Santa Claus, Army... Uh, dino cats, medic worms, tomato worms, tanks, cheap wars, magic, worm fighters, super saiyan. Cool, there's a lot of stuff here. Again, a lot of transformers. <laughs> a lot of time must have been taken to make all these different links. Firearms archives this is for the, the weapons. And yes, it downloads mids files because I was playing different midi files. I wonder if these are all custom mid files for Laro. I don't think Laro originally came with any music, so I think these must have been custom mid files. Of course, I have a weapon pack with over 500 weapons. A lot of the really crazy weapons I remember playing with back then. Single webs, web packs, weapon guide. I remember I did do a video about Laro as well, right? Which uh, showcased some of these really crazy weapons. Throwing knife, death rain, Chiquita blaster. I remember that one. <laughs> Exploding Worm Parts, Final Flash, Force Missile, Hell Bomber, LARPA Missile, Mortar, Spirit Bomb, Med Kit, okay. And then this is uh, Weapon Packs, again, tons of links back back then. I think I just linked to QSitesOnline.net. Cool Weapons, Doom Weapons, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Freedom Wars, High Tech, Clax, Lair Extreme, Okay, it's a lot of interesting. I'm real tournament weapons. Okay. Cool. Golden Eye Dark. Interesting. Weapon Guide. Oh my god. Okay, so this is all just. Okay, this is just a compilation of weapons and just uh, links to them down below. Grasshop. So these are original weapons that Leo came with Bouncy Larpa, Chain Gun, Chiquita Bomb. Crackle, Doomsday, Goss Gun, I remember that, Grasshopper. People would just mod these weapons and make them crazy. Like, remember there was this Grasshopper, like, I don't know how to call it, some kind of cluster bomb thing that just kept firing Grasshoppers. Hellvader, Minigun, Napalm, yeah, this is all these crazy. Chiquita Bomb got modified into Chiquita Blaster, which is just like... A shotgun that fires a whole bunch of chiquitas. Like, it's pretty cool. Spike balls. I remember the people made, like, plutonium spike balls that just killed you instantly. Uzi, Winchester. Zims. <laughs> yeah, but people made Zim bombs, too. That just... Yep. Good stuff back then. Flamer. Yeah, people made, like, crazy flamers, too. Doomsday bombs. Bouncy mines. Larpa bombs. Because LARPAs are like, uh, you fire the missile and there's like a trail of particles. Big nuke, bazooka. People made nuke bombs too. Or nuke bazookas. Pretty cool back then. Alright. Game tips. Lero handbook. It downloads another mid every time. And here's the Lero handbook I actually hosted on Angel Fire. So this is the entire Laro handbook, which is, I think this is, oh, okay, someone else made this. I thought this was just the original Laro manual, but no, it's, uh, 
It's someone else. Um, joystickjockey at hotmail.com. ICQ number. Jusa is the original maker of Lero. Yep. I think he was some, some guy from uh, the uh, Scandinavia, I think. Tutorials. Digging tutorial, roping tutorial. Okay. Yes, this is just like, uh, it's like a Worms, right? It's similar to Worms. I had a easy board for it, of course. Lero 2. The creator of Lero claims to work on Lero 2, but does not give up much info or progress. Well, obviously it's been... Lero was released, like, what, 97? So, you know, obviously he's, he hasn't worked on Lero 2. But Open Lero X is another one that's kind of a... Uh, an unofficial sequel and I played that with my brother in a video like five years ago I played open Lero X so that was a good one revolutionary Lero graphics local area network support I really like LAN support wish more games would have that via the internet with Wormsnet okay acid spray cow sniper from magnet jump mixels interesting I don't, of course, that never came to be. Nim 2. I remember this was a game that's very similar to Lero. Nim. I don't think that this exists anymore. But, uh... It'd be nice to play Nim 2 sometime. Because I remember this was very similar to Lero. Uh, yeah, very similar game. But it's a little bit different. It's like the graphics are slightly different. I remember playing that. I think Open Lero X is the real kind of successor though. Links. This goes to Lero Guy, Lero 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 Zone, Lero Hellhole. I remember that was a big one. Lero Fest, official Lero 2 page. That's definitely not going to exist anymore, nope. Low Net Wormhole, my other website. Dark Flares Diablo website, oh man. This is my friend's website, I think. So, uh... So yeah, my friend back then had a, my friend back then, um, he really liked Diablo. I think it was Diablo 1, right? Because Diablo 2 didn't come out until like 2004, I think. So I think this was Diablo 1. So he really liked Diablo back then. So I hosted his website for him. I think this might be still be up, right? Dark Flare, no, it's no longer up. But uh, yeah, I hosted my friend's website, Dark Flare. Yeah, that was his his online alias was Dark Flare. <laughs> I remember hosting his Diablo website for him. Oh boy, we were young, all trying to do HTML back then. Anyways, that was the Lero site. Now look at the Chrono Trigger website. Let's look at that one. Oh, this frame actually works. Crazy. I thought this frame would not work, but this frame actually works. That's awesome. So we can look at the source code and see how these frames work here. So yeah, um, there is a frame set rows which is covering the, the entire page, dividing it up into different proportions. So you have 15%, 75%, 10%. So I'm guessing this would be the 15%, this part here would be the 75%, and then this part here would be the, the 10%. And then uh, this top part up here is home.html, and then this frame set is 15% and 85%. That's what the second section is divided into. This part is menu.html. So I, again, I don't know why the Laro site wasn't working. I, I believe the Laro site was set up the exact same way, so I'm surprised the Chrono Trigger site works, but not the Laro site. So this is just another external HTML page. This is main.html. It's another HTML page right here. And then bot.html. So I guess Angelfire added their own bot <laughs> down here in a separate frame. Um, Oh, is, or is this the banner? This is always the banner for Angelfire. I guess I was advertising them or something, and then I I had another, I had links to my other sites here, which includes the Dragon Ball Z Fantasy and Lero Center site, so. Oh god. Okay, well this is back before people used, uh, this is before HTML5, right? So, there was no header tag, there's no footer tag, there's no concept of using, of splitting the pages into, like, different div sections, and, um, yeah, there's just none of that. People just, you know, they used whatever they had back then, and then frames were a very easy way to navigate back then. You know, these days, you might be, like, looking at this and being like, you're crazy, right? You're loading an external HTML page every time you click one of these things, but uh, this is how websites worked back then. <laughs> a lot of people used frames back then. They didn't think about using 
uh, just different sections of the page divided up. You know, no sidebar navs or anything like that or drop down menus. And JavaScript was pretty much only used for. I mean, look at this background. It's uh, what is this background? Is it? Oh my God! Yeah, this is this is what JavaScript was used for back then, guys. Okay, because these days you use JavaScript for everything, right? Um, you use it for everything. But back then, uh, we pretty much used JavaScript for things like this, for shooting, shooting uh, stars, I guess, or making this look like it's animated. <laughs> oh man, 1.2, document fireworks script. Okay. Basically, JavaScript was mainly used for like animations and stuff back then. It wasn't used as the main language of the net, which is what it's used for now, right? Now JavaScript does everything. It hooks the entire website up, right? You can make an entire website using a JavaScript framework like React.js or Vue.js or Angular. But back in the day, like it, all it was used for was animations. <laughs> Hence the name DHTML, right? Dynamic HTML. So, yeah, how far we have changed. And the center tag, oh god. This is another deprecated tag. Um, you used to use a center tag to center your content. But now, you just use text align center, right? Uh, and then PLI Center. And tables, of course. Tables were used very heavily back then. I remember, so this is a bit of early 2000s, late 90s programming for you guys, right? JavaScript, pretty much only used for animations. Very, very basic CSS. A lot of things were hard-coded, were inlined, right? A lot of the CSS was inlined like this. Uh, tables were very, very common. Yep, and we used deprecated tags like center and... Yep. <laughs> um, marquee, Blink, those are all pretty much deprecated. Because uh, back then we didn't have CSS3 to do those kind of cool like animation type things. So we used JavaScript and we used, uh, we used actual different tags to do those animations. Like Marquee and Blink. So kind of crazy, but that's how it worked back then. Div style, yeah, we just inlined a lot of the stuff back then. Um, see this BG color, right? Now all this is done using CSS, using background color, link color, V link color, A link color. Like this is all done using CSS now. Margin width, margin height, text color. Yeah, this was all done using hard, hard coded like inline attributes back then and style tags. So how things have changed, huh? Yep, document.writes. People used document.write to just write elements back to the page back then, right? Now you can't imagine doing that because we all have like reactive uh, HTML pages, right? Um, but back then, in order to get an element, this was even before jQuery. So jQuery, you even with jQuery, which was like late 2000s, you inserted stuff onto the page, right? Like late 2000s, early, early 2010s, you inserted stuff onto the page with uh, jQuery. Right, insert before, insert after, append to, um, but this was before jQuery, so like you people just use document dot write to to add stuff to the page, <laughs> dynamically, right? That's how they, that's how it worked back then. Anyways, yeah, this is a little bit of late '90s, early 2000s programming for you guys. Everything hard coded, uh, inlined in the page, <laughs> div style. Yep. Oh man, okay. Border color. Oh god, I forgot there's a, that kind of attribute back then, okay. Yep. That was it back then. Look, HTML 3.2. Definitely, this is before HTML5, HTML 3.2. Wow, what a, uh, <laughs> what a time machine, huh? Let's look at what's in the head tag. Yeah, that was it, basically. Oh, some people used. Oh, we put the style tags up here, and okay, that's good. But yeah, that's all we had in the meta back then. Yep, this is definitely a, a little bit of a throwback, throwback programming for you guys. <laughs> oh man, just using frames in general. Oh god, and then this loads loads its own JavaScript, of course. All this Lyco stuff. Oh man. All right, and some angelfire.lycos embedded stuff. I'm really surprised this stuff is still being hosted. Lycos footer ad. 
Oh god. <laughs> Anyways, that's interesting. And of course, just three updates. Whoa, did I die on you guys? Sorry, I didn't update. No, well, I added more screenshots. Okay. Chrono Trigger is one of my favorite games ever. Um, still, it hasn't really been remade. Um, but it's been re-released, just never been remade. And never been a sequel to it, really. It's Chrono Cross was kind of a sequel, but it's not really a... It's not really a direct sequel, so... Still to this day, there's not been really any direct sequel to Chrono Trigger. It's one of the best Japanese RPGs ever. And probably one of the best games on the SNES, period. Anyways, um, this frame actually works. Wow. Color me surprised. Like, the, uh, the frames didn't work on my other websites, so I didn't expect that to work here. But this frame actually works here. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's, let's look at this website in its original 2002 glory with frames. So, let's see, you get the item list here. Uh, you can look at ROMs and emulators, of course. Uh, and, of course, it downloads a mid file every time. Some Chrono Trigger mid file. Z SNES, one of my favorites. SNES 9X, also pretty good. I think I used Z SNES the most back then. Then the Chrono Trigger Worm itself, which is hosted by Crystal Orb. I always linked it to someone else because I didn't want to get into any legal trouble even back then, right? I guess I, I kind of knew the issue with hosting your own ROMs back then, so I just linked it to somewhere else. Of course, this is not going to work. Yep. Some, this is some guy's website. Uh, I, just host, I just linked it to that. And then walkthrough whoa so this is is this an actual walkthrough no it's not like a full fact it's not like a game fact type of fact right this is a very light walkthrough music archive so you can download all the mids here which i think you can you can still do so you can download like yeah these are all here so these all the mid files are still being hosted by angel fire without any issue it seems like so these are all the Yep, all the different mid files here. I shouldn't download all of them because I don't think I have all of them. <laughs> yep. 600, overworld theme. Go to castle, find epoch. That's a good theme. Mid files, remember MIDI files? I missed that. Oh, you can download all the MIDI files in one zip, but I don't think the zip is going to work. Oh, it actually did work. Okay, cool. Interesting. So for some reason, like it seems like everything on this site is working. Yeah. So I can just download it all in one zip file. Okay. Bosses. So these are the different bosses, and I think they link to images. Do these images actually work? No, they don't. Okay. So not everything works here. So these are just a guide to different bosses that you face in Chrono Trigger. Again, pretty good info here. Lavos being the final boss. Lavos is the final boss. Mem Machine, yeah, cool. Still useful, I guess, for people who want to play Chrono Trigger. And this is another frame here. So I put like a top frame, and this is like a left frame. Again, this is when I was 12. So 12 or 13 years old, I made this site. So <laughs> the frames were all the rage back then, back in 2002, 2003. Um, Cyclone size. This is uh, images. Yep, these are all images. So these are techniques. Wow. Again, I must have had a lot of time back then to link all this. Like, even copy and pasting. Like, it takes a while to to change all these different links, right? So I must have had a lot of time. And I'm, there's just a lot of info here. Just like on the DBZ site and the Laro site, there's a lot of tables and a lot of a lot of. Uh, links and images here characters the ideal chrono the ideal marl luca frog robo alia magus and shala shala technically isn't playable but i would want her to be playable <laughs> she's definitely one of my favorite characters but yeah um these characters weapon list oh so much information here. That's pretty good though. Chrono, I can go to Marl, Luca, Robo, Frog, Magus, okay. Game Genie, wow. So there's Game Genie codes here too. You can even download a TXT version. Whoa, okay. So there's a TXT version of the Game Genie codes, which you can actually input if you have an emulator. 
So it's all here. This is a like game facts. I think this was taken straight from straight from game facts. I just hosted it here. Charm list. So different charms. Forearm, of course, does not. That's not going to work. Armor list. List of body armors and helmets. Oh wow. Okay. Again, pretty good information for people who want to play Chrono Trigger still. If you guys haven't played it yet, for some reason, I guess this website could still be of some use. Tabs, location. Mm -hmm. And then uh, onto sealed chests. Sealed chests and doors, okay. It tells you what's in it, everything, okay. Endings. The bad ending. Programmer's ending. Yep, so this game is really cool. It had a lot of different endings, and it was very... It was a very good game. Um, you can play it. It had a lot of good replay value. Links. Magus's Castle. I think that's where I linked Chrono Trigger Realm to. I forget if I even asked these people for your permission. <laughs> Maybe I just randomly linked them. I don't think I asked permission for this. Chrono Look, this is hosted by CompuServe. When was the last time you heard CompuServe, huh? CompuServe, um, Chrono Shock. This is hosted by Leo Hell, of course. None of these links are going to work. Chrono Trigger ec Ecstasy. In this background here, oh my god. Anyways, and of course I gotta have that flashing gif. Alright, um, that's it. I'm really surprised this frame still works. 565 people have visited this website since 2002. Yeah, guys, anyways, that's all the websites I made back then. Wow, what a trip down memory lane. Um... I must have had a lot of time back then to make all these different websites and I know like all these websites seem like really really bad but uh I mean I was 12 and 13 and honestly there's a lot of content on these sites so I'm surprised like I must have a lot of time to put in all these like especially all these tables rows and links and stuff uh and even if it's all copy and pasted like I had to make a different html file for all these so yeah Definitely, I, I worked on these a lot back then, I guess. So yeah, um, that's just kind of going back in time to the early 2000s. A lot of those <laughs> takes me back in time. I don't know how much longer it's going to stay on Angel Fire, but I did want to make this video just to keep the posterity of, you know, um, Angel Fire, who knows how long they're going to host this website, right? They've already hosted this for 18 years and counting right now, so I'm extremely impressed that it's still up. Um, but... Wow, I don't know how much longer they're going to host that. So yeah, I just want to make this video before... Someday I'm sure Angel Fire is going to gonna be offline. I just don't know when. Um, it's just crazy they've lasted so long. GeoCities went out about, like, what, 10 years ago? Something like that. Uh, so the fact that Lycos and Angel Fire is still up is just crazy to me. So yeah, um, that's why I'm just going to make this before this disappears. <laughs> But yeah, that was a that was a good trip down memory lane. Um, I have not seen those sites in such a long time, and I'm really surprised they're still up there. Anyways, guys, if you watched through this entire video, then congrats. Uh, this is a pretty long video. But um, yeah, I just gave my commentary on a website that I've made back when I was 12, 13, 14. So pretty amazing. Cool. Thanks for watching it with me if you managed to stay through.